Now, the centuries-long tradition of hitting a pub in Britain could soon be cons uh, consigned to the history books. Many so-called boozers are calling time with price hikes and anti-drinking campaigns often blamed. But a conservative peer, Lord Hodgson, who is a former brewery boss, says these are not the only reasons. What I actually was talking about was is socioeconomic changes, deindustrialization. If you have a pub in an area where the carpet trade was, was very strong and therefore a lot of people coming back from work, you might get passing trade. If you have a pub in an area which has an, an immigrant population increase, and that immigrant population happens not to drink, then of course you will lose trade at the pub. Well, believe it or not, but the figures do speak for themselves. A campaign promoting the traditional British pub says the number of venues is dropping at an alarming rate. And as you can see, in just 10 years, more than 10,000 drinking dens have closed their doors. And Jeez Polly Boyko decided to hit one London pub to find out what's seeing so many dry up. Well, to many, the British pub is the backbone of British life, a community focal point where you meet your friends and knock back a beer. But the age-old tradition is under threat. Pubs in the country are going out of business and shutting down at a rate of 31 per week, morphing into convenience stores and residential housing. Economists have blamed the trend on a combination of factors, from the UK's smoking ban to the financial recession and the availability of cheaper supermarket booze. So I've come to this London boozer to find out what the customers think. Well, it's quite simple, prices. You can buy beer in Lidl's, for instance, for one twenty-five a bottle. Here it's, what, £4, £5 a bottle for a glass? One Conservative Lord suggested that it's because of the growing number of teetotal Muslims living in Britain. Do you think that's a factor? No, 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 no. Surely not. Well, not all Muslims are teetotal. There tend to be too many generalist, stereotypical comments made about religious groups full stop. It might be a fact in certain sections of the community that alcohol isn't part of the life in that way, but I've never really thought of it as contributing to the decline of pubs. It um, might be, you never know. I think it'll always be a place for an English pub, to be honest, because people like to go out and meet their friends, have a drink. I know it's expensive, but I don't know, it's the, it's the atmosphere and it's a meeting place, really. In order to save this British institution from extinction, campaigners are calling for local authorities to make it harder for the often historical buildings to be converted into shops and flats. Meanwhile, the Muslim Council of Britain has suggested that Muslims will be blamed for a fall in the sale of pork next. Polly Boyko, RT, London.